Welcome to P My RODI Junior with your host, Juan Chomps. And the first thing we're gonna do is per the directions. You see, uh, we're gonna add the the membrane itself into the canister. Okay, so as per the directions, you see here, this is the shape of the canister, and that's the way we're gonna it's gonna go. Okay, so I'm gonna install it, and then we're gonna I'm gonna explain you what are we gonna do. Okay, so we already installed it here. Make sure the gasket is in place here as well. And then we're just gonna screw it in. Make sure it's tight. Okay. Okay, second thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna install uh, the brackets. Okay. So we have the brackets here. Oops, hold on, just give me a minute here. Okay, so we got the brackets. And what we're gonna do is just basically install this piece on top. Okay. Wash your hands. <laughs> okay. So we have uh, the two membranes now. Uh, we run into a problem here because this thing should go this way, something like this. So in that way, the lines and everything match. Okay. So second thing, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just making sure that it's gonna, uh, you know, it's not gonna leak. Okay. So let me move the camera a little bit back. So we can, well actually, actually here is, it's okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do, let me explain you. This is the, the waste uh, line from the auto shut out valve. So b previously it was here, I already removed it. So basically what we're gonna do is that we're gonna make this our first membrane and this is gonna be our second membrane, okay? So the wastewater will come up here and then this is gonna be the out and this is gonna be the purify purify uh, water, okay? If you take a look here at the first membrane, the the black is the 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 bad water and the bottom is the the purified water, okay? So what we're gonna do is that we are gonna connect the the bad water of the the drain water to the first membrane and from the out we're gonna take it to the f second membrane so it can filter this water as well and then from the out of this everything is gonna stay the same the only thing we're gonna change here is that we're gonna make a Y here uh, for the for the good water okay so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna merge the two uh, good waters with this uh, Y fitting, we're gonna merge the two, uh, merge the two uh, good waters here, and then it will go out to the to the auto shut up valve. I mean, I hope I hope everything is clear. Basically, what we're gonna do once again, uh, I'm gonna try to do it faster this time. This is gonna be our drain water, which is the bad one. Is that's the one that we are filtering and it will go to which is gonna be our first membrane from the out of this first membrane is gonna go to the second membrane so it can be filtered through here and it will go to the out which in this case I don't have nothing else to do here and then the good water that is coming from this membrane we're gonna make it make it in a Y and merge the good water to the from the first membrane to the good water of the second membrane, put them here both together and then the end to the outer shut up valve. Okay? So um, hope that is clear and so the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut 
the tube here, okay? Long enough so it can uh, fit in there, okay? So I have I have this in. Then it will go. I just want it to be, you know, not to pull it. So I get somewhere around here should be fine. Okay. Okay. So the only thing you have to do is just push it, push it all the way in. Make sure it's all the way in because if it's not all the way in, uh, it can leak. Okay. So that uh, that's the out, and then we're gonna do the same thing. This remember, this is the out, which is the drain water, the water that you don't want. To this uh, inlet of the membrane of the second membrane in this case okay so I wanted to do something like this so I guess here is fine okay once again all the all these uh, pipe comes with the key okay so you don't have to buy anything else once again make sure it goes all the way in okay so the second thing that we're gonna do is uh, and basically that will finish the the installation you know what I'm gonna remove this because we don't need it for now so in that way I can uh, do the installation faster okay I'm basically turning apart my system right now <laughs> I, I hope I can under I can put it back all together okay so now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna use some of the uh, blue line blue uh, pipe that they use we're gonna remove this from here which is gonna be the good water this is gonna be our good water from here put it in and then we're gonna make a Y here okay so in this case, I'm going to make it somewhere around here. So I guess this, this has to be shorter. I just want to make sure, let me check the camera. I just want to make sure you guys are watching perfectly. Okay. So once again, uh, the Y, I'm just taking measurements, see if it's going to fit properly. Already somewhere around here, I guess. Okay. I'm going to cut it, cut it slightly bigger. Okay. So we have this, and this will go to the in as well as here. So once again, we have the Y, everything is in place now. And now the only thing I have to do is just, just install everything that we had before. The same way it was before. Okay, uh, this is too short, so I'm just gonna make another one bigger. Okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is gonna put it all the way in. See which way is gonna work better. So I guess somewhere around here. Make sure it's it's a straight. Put it all the way in as well. Okay. And that's it. That will complete the the installation of this thing. Okay. Uh, notice that if you don't want to move this, what I just did, you don't have to. Okay. I just I just move it so it will be uh, better for me to work. Okay. So the first, me I mean the the installation has been complete. Okay. This is for the drain. 
and that's it. Everything is complete. Okay. Hope every hope, hope this this is clear. Okay. So now, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make the installation for the booster pump. Okay guys, before I do uh, the installation on my system, well actually I, I already did but I didn't realize you know that some of you guys won't have uh, the auto shut up valve and it will change a little bit, not much but basically what, what I'm doing is that the drain uh, water or the drain tube that is coming from your last uh, filter in this case I have these connections because that's the way it came you know from bulk resupply but basically if you don't have the pressure gauge and if you don't have the auto shut up valve what you have to do is just run the line from the last uh, filter through the first membrane and then do whatever whatever we we just did I mean we're gonna do okay so in in, in this case uh, what I did is that the drain I put it into the first membrane okay but what you have to do if you don't have the auto shut up valve is basic and the pressure gauge the only thing you have to do is just run one tube from your last uh, filter through the through the first membrane okay it's, it's a matter of just following the lines uh, and as you see here we have this line here comes up to here which is right here comes up to here and goes up okay once again goes down comes up to here comes down to here down to here which is this part this tube right here into here okay I just wanted to uh, to make a point here because some of you might not uh, have the auto shut up valve uh, in my case it came with the package because it was the the plus and that's the reason why uh, I didn't do that connection so if you didn't have the auto shut up valve that's the way to go okay so as you see the installation of the 150 gallons per day uh, membrane upgrade has been uh, finished and it was easy to do it as well if you would like to watch the installation of the booster pump as well as the comparison of the way the system works and how much wastewater <clears throat> and how much our water I'm getting out of the system click anywhere in the screen and it will take you to the third video uh, in this video I will explain everything about the booster pump and the auto shut off switch have a great salty day.